So today, we're way out in Weymouth, and we're gonna explore this abandoned mink farm. So mink farms were huge back in the day. So let's go take a little peek of what they used to look like. Let's clear the spider webs out of my way. Yeah, so this is it. Isn't this cool? Now there were thousands of these things everywhere. Basically what happened, mink prices were through the roof and this was a get rich quick scheme for everybody here in this area. And they just built these things. I mean, think of how many thousands of minks line this place. Like unbelievable amount. And they just kept building them. I mean, the banks were financing these. People were making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, look at that. There's the mitts they used to wear when handling these things. And of course, they would cage the animal up. The animal would just shit on the floor. As you can see, they didn't even clean the last bit of it. No need. And, uh, and hose it down, basically. So, nasty place. Minks are nasty little animals, but their fur was what everybody wanted in China. So, ah, got a huge spider web. Whew. So this is what they all look like. Isn't that insane? So basically what happened? So many of these people built this that the prices started going down, of course, because everybody was uh, climbing on board on this one. And this is the small town economic problem that we have. One person starts getting rich off of something, then everybody and their dog just jumps on it because nobody has any smart ideas on their own. So they all invested all this money. This one was probably one of the last mink farms even built. It looks pretty new, and they sunk a lot of money in on it by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, so they all climbed on board. The Chinese, of course, got the idea as, hey, we can grow minks at our place. Why do we need to buy them off of Canadian farmers? So they basically hired people from here to go to China and train them on mink farms. And then they started growing them themselves. The price crashed and all these people bankrupt their companies and walked away from it. But man, there must have been thousands of minks. Check out this huge spider. Holy smokes. There's a barnyard spider for you. We'll just let him be. This place goes on and on. Yeah, so all these people went broke overnight. So if you drive out to Weymouth, there are literally probably 50 plus, maybe even closer to 100 of these mink farms, all abandoned. Which is really kind of sad, I guess, thinking of the millions of dollars everybody lost. But like I said, maybe don't jump on a bandwagon. Understand the difference between a trend and you know a sustainable business and when you see everybody growing in their backyard building these barns you know your business is probably not going to last so yeah pretty neat like i said this was probably one of the last ones built probably at a cost of uh, by the looks of it maybe 1.5 million or more now the other problem with all these minks they built these beside lakes so they could just wash the shit into the lake. And what a horrible idea for our environment. But they didn't really care. They were making so much money. Government was happy. They were hiring people. Yeah, this is pretty neat out here. But there's your small town problems, I guess. You know, by the time the masses jump on board something, it's too late. And by the looks of these buildings, like I said, this one was actually probably built right at the height. And probably didn't make any money. So here's some more of them. So you can see, they're everywhere around here. This is what the traditional ones, the ones that were built really fast, I guess you could say. One of the first ones, kind of how they got built see that's where the mink would be and then they'd put the food on the top for it to eat 
and there'd be a vein for the water. So there'd be little water cups in them. Yeah, reach your hand in there. They have horrible little teeth. Little jagged teeth. Nasty. Pretty cool, though. So this house probably was the owner's. Either that or maybe they just house workers in it. But it looks pretty cool to me. Probably just house the workers in this place. A pretty nice little house. Let's see if you can just look through the windows, see what they were up to in here. Oh, yeah. They just left everything. So like I was kind of saying, like when the market crashed, it went down fast. And I mean, these people lost more than everything, I would say. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice old house, though. Oh. So that's the tour. Hope you enjoyed it, YouTube. Definitely subscribe to the channel, because I'm always finding these weird little places out in the middle of nowhere. Nice chestnut tree. But pretty neat architecture of the house. And definitely a massive farm.